Okay, guys, you can see here my PC ran into the problem and needs to be restarted. Something like error code, it, uh, it's a stop code, it's a WTF violation. If you guys are getting the error like this, and if it says your PC needs to be restarted, and it ran into the problem, you're going to follow the number of steps in this tutorial. One the either steps will definitely help you. If it helps you, you're going to share this video with your friends and family. Okay guys, update the driver. Give a right click on this PC or on my computer. So more options and here you have a manage. So you will click over here on device manager. And here you have a drivers. So anywhere you're gonna, you see this drop down icon, you're gonna click on it. Anywhere you see the yellow exclamatory sign in any of this driver, what you're gonna do is just give a right click on it and update the driver. If you have downloaded it from somewhere, click on browse from my computer for the driver and you're gonna show the locations or you can search over the internet automatically. It will automatically search for the driver and install it. Even you can search for the update on Windows update it will source for it on a Windows update. You can update the PC along with your PC update. Your drivers will be updated. So this should fix your issue. When I click on troubleshoot, I have uh, six different options over here. I'll click on a startup repair in the very beginning. So the PC will check for all the necessary repairs it can attempt see a startup repair could not repair your pc either i can sort down or advance option okay guys you're going to type the command scfc space slash scan now needs to be together and press enter again so it will take some time uh, let it to complete 100 percent and you're all done okay guys you can sit down with the 100 percent now just exit it okay let me exit it and press enter again Finally, we we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes your issue. Create a system restore point. Are you going to type as it is? Create a system restore point. You can follow the steps for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Issue, you can restore the system. You can click on system restore, click on next, and here you have a system restore point you have created. You can Click on next and follow this wizard to restore the system to this particular state. Click on finish. Click on yes. Now my system will be restored at this particular point again. So this is the procedure. How do you create a system restore point and how do you again restore your system to that particular date? So what you can do is uh, if you are really while working on daily basis on your PC, you are doing different types of tasks and you are installing different types of applications. What you can do is you can come to this wizard and you can create a restore point every day. Later on, suppose any day we are getting any kind of a, a problem in your PC, you can still come one day back into your PC and you can access all your important files and you can start working. Or you can create a restore points on every week. So number every week, if you create a restore point and you can give the date on a name, so you can recognize it. So every day, uh, sorry, every week, restore point will be there in your PC. So you can restore your PC again back to any state or any date later on. So you can see my system is being restored. So you can see it's gonna take uh, some time and you have to just uh, walk around and come back. I've successfully restored and here it is so even i have a message over here 
that system system restore completed successfully the system has been restored to this particular point and 8 19 to 23 and even date the document has not been affected so none of the document has been affected you're just going to choose it's a troubleshoot and here you are i reset this pc let's click on that keep my files or remove everything okay guys this will restart your pc and after restarting this is what you get your account one you used to log in your pc so if it is password protected you have to enter the password and click on continue if it is not password protected just directly click on continue now once you click on continue this is what you get resetting this pc getting the things ready so give us some time and it will get all the things ready okay guys now here it is once it's once uh, it get ready click on reset So now this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your piece will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC, all the way ready to use.